We're still 13 days away from Thanksgiving, but the city of Erie is already thinking about Christmas. The details for this year's Downtown Delights event were announced this week. Yeah, the popular event in Perry Square did not happen last year because of the pandemic. So now organizers say they want to resume with two times the holiday spirit. Our Kara Coleman has that story. It's the return of Downtown Delights to Perry Square. It is that opportunity to re-engage and reconnect as a large celebration. After a scaled back event last year, the city of Erie is ready to gather again safely. You know, it's really important to us that all members of our community have access to safe and fun holiday festivities. And so this year, unlike in years past, it's going to be held all outdoors. So we're asking people to bundle up and also mask up as well. Besides the main event, the lighting of the square and the holiday tree, there will be visits from Santa and Mrs. Claus, carriage rides and activities for kids. The highly anticipated flagship city food hall and several downtown shops will also be open. It has been the progress of this event and what it means to the community. We've added more decor over the years. This year they're announcing, you know, with the Perry Square Alliance, we have a brand new holiday fountain topper that people can help. But it's the lighting of the marquee. It's the connection to our neighborhoods. It's that type of events and activities that are all joined together as a community so that we can all celebrate. And it won't just be the tree in Perry Square that's lit up on December 3rd. For the first time in decades, the new Warner Theater marquee will also also be turned on a celebration of the holidays and the development in downtown Erie. Kara Coleman, Erie News Now.